Postal 268 here. Uh, I apologize ahead of time for the sound quality. I uh, forgot to bring my headset and I'm wanting to get this video out as soon as possible, but uh, this is my Red Eyes Black Dragon deck in the January 2015 format, modified with Dark Matter Dragon. Now, the deck works amazing. Like, I'd actually only had to change just a few things to really get it working. And also, this version is a little different from the one in my deck profile. I've uh, skimmed out a few cards, I changed a few things here and there, just trying to make it run a bit faster. And uh, one of the things I did was I took out one of the Dragon's Mirrors, I took out one of the first Dragons, and put in Dark Matter Dragon in my extra deck instead. That skimmed out one card from my main deck, and that gave me also one room for him in the extra deck. Now this first duel here, I wasn't really taking him too seriously, it was some sort of stall um, dimension deck. He also was making a few mistakes, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, he'll use that Regeki after I summon a Zero, and he'll, uh, yeah, uh, you'll see. Here we go, got my first Azir out, got Red Eyes, now I'm pulling out the second Azir, and then I'm just going to clear off his field. And I got three more duels after this one, uh, the next one's going to be some sort of stall burn deck or something, I wasn't sure either. And uh, the one after that will be Pendulum deck, and then a Shadal deck. Now the main reason I'm picking out a whole lot of meta is because um, I'm picking duels that went by quite smoothly, just to show how the deck will flow. If I'm constantly running into traps, it can be a little difficult. But as you see, I used three Azures, I pulled out Tacky on Dragon, and then put Dark Matter right on top of him. So, really, no modifications are needed whatsoever. This deck will run Dark Matter right like that. So if you're looking for a good Dark Matter deck and you want to be different from everybody else running, you know, uh, Dragon Rulers or Heraldic, things like that. Which, I mean, yeah, I'm using Rulers, but it's not really focused. Uh, here's the Burn slash Stall deck. I wasn't really sure how to classify it. But as you see here, a much better hand. I got a zero out right at the beginning. Then he Snatch Steeled and Creature Swapped, which is the only way to take it. I think he was trying to Snatch Steal the Azure and realized his mistake. So that kind of ticked me off. So I wanted my Azure back. So I threw out my Ruler, I uh, attacked, you know, made sure there weren't any traps, summoned out Red Eyes, then pulled out my Azure. Now what he should have done here was Lava Golem both my Red Eyes and Azure, but instead he Lava Golem my, um, my Ruler and Red Eyes, which just left my Azure there to keep pulling things out. So right now I moved everything to defense so that he would get burned with his own cards and thought it was funny that he creature swap while I had that. So as you see the Azure engine, just pulling out more materials, making another Azure. Um, got Dark Briber there, but I went ahead and pulled out Tachyon, pulled out Dark Matter, and then I was going to fill up the rest of my field, build up a little more defense, summon an Azure to protect him, and then the guy rage. So here is the um, draw engine pendulum deck, and as you see, I got an I had a decent hand and I messed up, and so I summoned out Light Pulsar to to correct the issue because I didn't want my uh, my red eyes just sitting out there unprotected. So next turn, I ended up pulling out my Azure. And as you can tell, using a zero every turn, that pretty much makes Regeki a dead card. And everyone runs a Regeki these days. I've actually had a few people at local who are salty because they talk about how they had Regeki in their hand the whole time and they couldn't do anything with it. So here's where I normal summon Red Eyes, getting the White Pulsar off the field to correct my mistake earlier and try to clear up some room or else I would have probably already been a little more ahead. And he's still just building up his pendulum and blocking me with battle faders. So, um, pulled out Red Eyes, pulled out Galaxy Serpent, and uh, I thought I'd hold off another turn to make sure he didn't have another battle fader, which he did. So that was a good call. Because uh, Tachyon's cool, because he stops everything on the field, but he doesn't stop hand effects. So this turn, I'm gonna pull out Tachyon, I'm gonna use Red Eyes, because I can't use it after Tachyon. Pull out the Dark Matter, Cloud Castle, Flatten Azure, 
and we're gonna go into battle. And unfortunately, I didn't have a whole lot of, uh, generally by the time I pull out Dark Matter, there should be more monsters on the field. <laughs> it takes me a minute. That's where that guy Dark Fries when I had a degree, you know. And he tried to use the guy and realized he went to Cloud Castle. So this is where I pulled out Harder Dragon. Use the Zero, getting these red eyes, the summon the Cloud Castle, pull out the Zero. Now that so I'll double attack with Dark Matter. And then I'll finish him off with the Zero. I mean Harder Dragon. So here's the Shadal deck. And I can't remember, did I get a good hand? I got an okay hand. If I can't summon a zero first turn, it's not really... It, it's a bad hand. But luckily, I had that. Bought me a little bit of time. So. And two dragon shrines is always good. Get a ruler out there. Here's why I was really worried. Once he got rid of that decree, I was like, oh crap, he's gonna have a trap, but luckily he just had a Shadal Fusion. This guy is the most annoying Shadal Fusion for me, because I can't attack over it right off the beginning, and he negates my monster effects. Generally, you would want to negate Red Eyes, but a lot of people, they just negate the first effect that happens. So, as you see here, I use a zero, and he just immediately pops out effect. Which was fine with me, because then I needed to use Red Eyes to bring back my Azir. And that stalled me a little bit, which I don't like any time getting stalled. I like to do this as fast as possible. Since, as you can tell, since the entire deck is pretty much just nothing but summon, 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 summon. So I get out another Azir there, and uh, I wanted that ruler to go back to my hand so I could throw Carbon into the graveyard. But unfortunately, I see he's still trying to. I guess it's some kind of defense. He popped the, the ruler effect, which I guess he knew I wanted it in my hand or something, but that's just the most random thing to pop. But it was fine because I drew a different dimension inclination. So, here's where I'm gonna summon out Tachyon. No field effects, gonna summon out Dark Matter. The ruler, Cloud Castle, pull out in the ear. And. Banish the face down. Cloud Castle. Another Azir. And now let's OTK. And there you have it. That is my uh, January format 2015 Red Eyes deck using Dark Matter Dragon. So if you're interested in the profile, um, just take a look at my videos below. Actually, I'll put an annotation right here. Just click this for the deck profile. So, this has been Postal 268. Uh, Y'all have a nice day.